Well guys, I am mightily pissed off. My, uh, my interview has literally just finished and the meeting did not go to plan. Basically, what... I'll show you, I don't need them. Pancho, hay que ver ese, que bonito. So, apologies for the break in the video, ladies and gents. Unfortunately, things went kapoom after our meeting. It's been a very long day. As you may recall, earlier on I told you we had an hours long meeting with ITV earlier on. Here is the update and what happened in that very meeting. So, to begin with, they turned around and told me that I was answering the allegation of breaching my NDA and also their GDPR contracts within ITV. I tried to dispute it and basically was shown a contract I signed seven years ago where it clearly states if you are to divulge any information regarding crew members, uh, staff, cast members of any show, then basically you're in breach of your contract. Apparently I've done that regarding the whole situation regarding Matthew and Philip. I'm no longer obliged to maintain an NDA and the reasons are as follows. After an hour of questioning, being shown NDAs, contracts, loads and loads of questions being thrown from ITV, it was basically a few moments later construed that my contract with ITV would be ceased with immediate effect as of four o'clock this afternoon. So with that very much in mind, I was then told that the show that they've been working with me on for the last 18 months to two years would again cease with immediate effect. 2,000 years later. And as such, as of now, I need to find myself a new sponsor. However, there's a nice spanner in the works. Courtesy of the reasons why they completely disregarded my contract and ceased my contract with them, they will not refer me to any other broadcaster under the normal referral scheme. Which therefore means I have to apply myself to either BBC, Channel 4, Channel 5, Talk TV or whoever to basically get a new sponsor, which takes up to 18 months or two years, ladies and gents. By the way, welcome to Narnia. It's lovely around here, some of you. So, with that thought very much in mind, the Daily Trivia Challenge will return probably in August with its original format on Facebook without the ITV backing. It's also gonna be starting here on YouTube, again, without any backing, and it's me who's foot in the bill for the cash jackpot at the end of the series in December. But the thing you guys are most interested in is the whole situation with Schofield and Matthew. I'm no longer having to withhold information due to the fact I'm no longer obliged to maintain my duty under an NDA. I have been told, however, that I will be liable for any suing or prosecution should I disclose too much information. That very much in mind, I can tell you that some of the information in mainstream media regarding the relationship and affair they allegedly had, in fact, was slightly more than that. They met when he was 10 years old and maintained a very, uh, what's the word? Un very unwise relationship when Matthew hit the age of 15. I'm speaking to him myself in a canteen about 18 months ago. Frequently divulged information regarding trips out, going for ice creams, So, with that very much in mind, your suggestion has been incredible. I have been cancelled by ITV and I'm now going to do everything I can to get a new sponsor so that my show can continue on this platform. For that to happen though, ladies and gents, 
I need to have at least 500 subscribers. If you guys can like, subscribe to this video, there'll be more stuff coming out in the next few weeks as it is anyway, as this journey progresses into getting a new sponsor. Thank you to each and every one of you. Please like and subscribe to this video. But from me to you, have an amazing evening. I'm now gonna go and enjoy the sights of London, chill out in this beautiful Hyde Park, and I'll see all of you guys very soon from my studios back home. Peace.